Norton Motorcycles has announced that technology invented for one of its new green engines will go into millions of motorbike engines in China. One of the biggest manufacturers there has bought the rights to use the new invention, while Norton will still make its own engines here in Leicestershire. Well, today it also opened a new training academy. The owner said he couldn't wait for the government to train people, so he's doing it himself with another Midlands company, which is setting up 15 training academies around the UK. Our business correspondent, Mark Goff, reports. Another motorbike getting its final checks before leaving the production line. Norton is one of the most famous names in British motorcycling. Last year, they developed a greener engine. Now the Chinese want the technology, and a big manufacturer there is paying Norton for the right to use it. They'll be using our technology to put into their engines. Last year, they made five million engines. Um, so, of course, it won't, it won't all be uh, around our technology, but, but we expect hundreds of thousands or, or, or millions of engines over the lifetime of the partnership. Um, Norton will continue, as we do now, to make our own engines here in Britain. It's a fabulous endorsement of, of our engineering and our technology platform that we have here at Norton. Uh, and, and again, it gives us great confidence to continue to invest in the future. 120 people work for the firm now at Donington Hall in Leicestershire. And the hall's got a new wing, a training wing. Another Midlands firm which imports these high-tech tooling machines has set up training academies here and in 14 other factories around the country. The reason? People aren't being trained quick enough and firms can't wait. We've got a, a huge skills shortage right across manufacturing Britain and, and some of that, there's a big debate of, of, of whether um, academic and, and schools and colleges and universities should pick that up or whether um, business and employers and, and the private sector should pick it up or whether it's government funded. And, and, and while everybody's having the debate, nobody's doing it. We've seen a, a gap in the, in, in the market there. Uh, that skills gap and we're doing something about it. So we're walking the walk. We all got together several months ago and said, we need this now. We can't wait years for this to happen. And rather than talk about it, we've done it. And with it comes more confidence in the future. Mark Goff, ITV News, Leicestershire.